Do you know what makes you extremely vulnerable to a predator? It's going through temporary situational difficulties and life transitions. And almost everyone goes through these. I was watching the Netflix documentary Bad Vegan and saw how the vegan restaurateur Sarma was going through normal hardships that left her very vulnerable to coercive persuasion. And she just happened to be targeted by a predator at this time of her vulnerability. The same thing could happen to you, so listen up. At the time that she was targeted, she was going through three difficult life circumstances. First, she was heartbroken from a previous breakup with a guy who seemed very narcissistic. She was also incredibly lonely, despite the fact that she was surrounded by many people. While she didn't look lonely from the outside, on the inside, she felt profoundly different from those around her and also unconnected emotionally. Third, she was going through financial difficulties. Although she was managing a thriving restaurant and was outwardly successful, on the inside, she was worried and scared that she had taken on $2 million of debt and didn't know if she'd be able to handle it. She felt responsible for the livelihood of those around her and yearned for someone to come in and protect her. Into a void like this comes a predator who's able to pinpoint her greatest weaknesses and present a persona that seemed to solve all of her problems. She's far from a stupid woman. In fact, she'd graduated from Wharton, which is one of the top business schools in the world. But what you have got to understand is that women are targeted not because they're dumb or weak, but because they're going through normal life problems and are temporarily disconnected from a strong community. Sarma was like a gazelle that had gotten isolated from the pack and was ripe for picking for a hungry lion. The moral of this story? Don't think that you too could be prey for a predator. The best way to protect yourself is to learn about manipulation tactics, which is what we're doing here and also to maintain at least one very close human connection at all times. If you don't have at least one strong connection, do not even consider dating anyone. Stay safe and follow for more research-backed tips on manipulation and control techniques.